Oh yeah, it is. It is 15. But we do this lovely little pop. And Bob's your uncle. Just that easy, guys. Just that easy, guys. That's why I'm here to teach you. I am here to bring sacred instruction of the way of the light. Welcome back, everybody, to the show. I am your host, as always, Jay Villain, a.k.a. That Villain Jay. And tonight we have a very special treat for you. Doing something that I almost never do, but I get a lot of requests for. But since there's a shakeup going down, we're going to historic, ladies and gentlemen. Historic shakeup. I am a big fan of these shakeup cues. Right, these shake-up games, I love them because do you know what we have? We have a ban list. And I know people love jank, but there's some broken stuff with the combos you can make in historic. So we have a ban list in these shake-up cues. These things are banned. You don't have to worry about Ember Cleave, Muxus, um, Tibalt's Trickery, Thought Season, Witch's Oven. A lot of stuff makes things uh, a lot easier to deal with when you have a band list like this, okay? So I really like these historic shakers. I've been playing this, even though it's not ranked, I've just been having fun knowing that um, I'm not gonna get immediately my ass kicked with a broken combo. And what I'm playing tonight is the classic Angels. This was my old Angel deck from way back. I took it, I said, we're coming back, we have all these Valkyries. We slapped a fresh coat of paint on it, installed some of the new Valkyries, and this thing bangs. So let's take a look. All right. Classic Angels. I know it looks like it says Boros there. It's really a white deck. There's one red card in it, and honestly, you don't even need it. So, before we get started on the breakdown, um, I'm going to ask you to do what I always ask you to do. I need you to tenderly press that like button. Gently press that subscribe button. That way the like and subscribe will not have to come after you. Got no control of him, he does it himself. So watch out. Join us on our Twitch every night at twitch.tv slash that villain J. For all the live streaming goodness. And if you can't get enough villain in your life, of course you can always check out our Discord, post decks, talk memes, whatever you'd like. All of those links will be in the description. <sighs> All right, now to the shakedown breakdown. So this is a historic deck, um, which means that there's some really, really lovely card combos you can pull off. Um, Light of Hope, you know I love Light of Hope if we're running white. The life game is key. Enchantment destruction right now is key. Speaker of the Heavens solid card, especially with as much life as we're going to gain. That's our really early drop. Bishop of Wings. This is a historic card. Probably I want to say probably the number two or number three historic card I miss the most. This one right here, this human cleric, Bishop of Wings. Two white, a 1-4. Beefy blocker for that early. Whenever an angel enters the battlefield under your control, you gain four life. I made a historic deck previously. If you want to click up in the upper right corner, uh, I'll link it that made the infinite angel engine so basically whenever you uh, angel died you created a one white spirit token and then you could anytime you got a token it uh with divine visitation it made an angel and anytime you got an angel you got life anyways this was one of those things this card is just pulls off amazing sick combos love it the life gain leads to more angels leads to more life leads to bigger creatures more powerful revitalize life gain and card draw Angel of Vitality. Let's level up that life game. And I'm going to show you why it's so important to level up that life game later. Invoke the Divine. Um, there is some broken ass stuff you can pull off with enchantments and with artifacts nowadays. So the main thing that we want to do is make sure we have all the artifact and all the enchantment control we can slap in there. Uh, Light of Hope will help with enchantments. Invoke the Divine helps with artifacts and enchantments. You don't want to be stuck. Also, that four life gain. 
perfect. Resplendent Angel. This is actually an M19 card. Broken, man. At the beginning of each end step, if you gain five or more life this turn, create a 4-4 White Angel token with Flying and Vigilance. As you can see, all of these gain four life. If we have um, Angel Vitality out, it will be five life. So if we play him with Bishop of Wings and Angel Vitality out, we'll gain five life, which means he'll immediately push out an Angel. He also has a final ability. Um, he gets plus two, plus two in life link to go in and make his own angels. Um, she, I'm sorry. These are all she. All angels are women. Um, just an absolutely broken card. Righteous Valkyrie. This one belongs in the historic set. Uh, she absolutely pushes angels over the edge. Whenever an angel or a cleric, which, of course, uh, he's a cleric and she's a cleric, uh, enters the battlefield under your control. You gain equal to that creature's toughness. Bishop of Wings, you gain four life. Again, Angel of Vitality, you gain five. Um, whenever you have seven or more life, everybody gets two two. Oh my goodness! Don't forget that Angel of Vitality already gets two two if you have twenty five or more. You're starting to see a pattern here. You're starting to see some of the synergies that you can pull off with this. The absolute, the absolute life gain madness that you can start pulling off. Shalai, the Voice of Plenty. I put two of her in there. You, Planeswalkers you control, and other creatures you control have Hexproof. I never use that third ability. That second ability. Uh, the green one. Never used it. Never needed it. Too expensive. I'm not running green. Ignore that. A 3-4 flying for four. Um, that gives everything on the board, including myself, Hexproof, until they get rid of this. Yes, please. Aurelia, the Red Lady, the Boros Captain. Uh, she is actually the commander of the Boros Legion. Exemplar of Justice, she is a 2-5 flying, only 5 mana. At the beginning of your combat, on your turn, you choose one target you control. Until that turn, it gains Trample if it's red and gains Vigilance if it's white. You can play it on her to make her a 4-5. Um, she is not necessary. If you, She's literally the only red card I have in this one. If you don't want her chuck her out if you don't have her chuck her out if you want to make this completely mono white chuck her out and make it completely mono white put any one of these other ones that i only have two of them in um lira we actually have lots of liras i actually might put uh lira might be a good substitute for aurelia because she is vicious a five five for five mana flying first strike lifelink other angels you control have one one in lifelink Oh my goodness. If she gets out on the board with everything else that's going on, it's over, man. It's absolutely, it's a massacre. Um, so it is just, she is just, brings the level to a ridiculous degree. She's expensive, though. But as you can see, we have a pretty smooth draw up. A pretty, pretty smooth kind of rolling um, increase in power and um, cost. Now we have this one. Which I haven't had much play with her yet because she is so expensive. But as an end game, as a turn six end game, um, flying and lifelink at the beginning of each step, if you gain four more life this turn, create a four four angel token with flying and vigilance. She is basically a fancier, uh, a less fancy version of resplendent angel. But I like to have both of them because I like to have an early one and a late run, and I like to have both out on the board. Um, because she is automatically lifelink and she is bigger than Resplendent Angel. So I throw her in there, Valkyrie Hirebringer. We're going to gain life, we're going to go with life, with Angel Vitality and uh, Righteous Valkyrie. Everything we do is going to give us life. Lifelink, life everywhere. Just a classic life gain, white winged, crazy, avenging Valkyrie Angel nonsense. Uh, Amaria's Call. This is our emergency card. Um, as you can see, this is a very heavy creature card. We're gonna kill. We're gonna kill him in the skies. Um, create two angel tokens just in case. Uh, non angels gain indestructible, and of course, it's a land. Thirteen planes, uh, four mountains. I like Clifftop Retreat, Needle Bird Patchway. I just put a patchwork of double lands here. We have nine red mana. Honestly, we don't need it. Um, you don't want to get stuck with red mana only and. Because some of these things are a double white cost. 
Um, and you don't want to be stuck with that, trying to play a thing and not have enough white mana. So overall, we have uh, 18 white mana and 18, uh, 19 producing white mana, and then, of course, 9 producing red mana. We're looking on the board here, 2.9 average for historic shakeup. Uh, not as expensive as you might think. 26 creatures, 11, 11 instants, only one sorceress. We're trying to actually move fast with these guys. We're really, really going to put pressure on. And we're going to be able to gain so much life, we're going to be able to absorb blows like crazy. We're going to be rope-a-doping because they're going to be swinging at us with crazy stuff. And we're just going to take it. Basically a tank angel deck. Looking at the layout, we are very heavy on three drops, guys. But we do have a smooth curve. We do have eight first plays. Um, Revitalize gives us that little extra card draw that we might need. Um, and, of course, Bishop of Wings, which is necessary. We get a lot of good stuff. Resplendent Angel, Righteous Valkyrie, Invoked the Divine, and Angel Vitality at three. And, of course, fours, fives, and sixes slowly rounded out with crazy amount of power. All right. So that is what we like to see in our classic Angels deck. Uh, I'm going to play his shake-up a little bit, then we'll go to ranked and see if we can't get a good run in. But I want to try shake-up first. Here we go. I'm going to mulligan this. No early plays. That's a little better. It's not great, but it's better. Frost Augur. Alright, Rune Crab. Okay, I've been seeing a lot of these, um I've been seeing a lot of these historic mill mill decks. Alright, we're gonna put down Resplendent Angel. A lot of people just can't handle um the sheer amount of uh flyers that we put down that's part of the reason that we win is we absolutely just push the board with flyers to a crazy degree Ooh. iceberg can cricks We need to gain life so we can start pushing angels. Okay, so he's going to really try to will mill us. He's going to really push the mill. Um, we need some life gain so we can really start getting a, a full board out here. I'm getting mana flooded. Luckily, we can use Resplendent Angel next turn, but if we get a huge amount of mill, um, I think we'll be able to counteract it. Ah, sorry, there was a bit hitch there. There was cut out for a second. Bravak, my boy, yeah. Um, okay, so we're going to activate that. He's out of there. Yeah. Yeah, he's out of there. 
he knew what was going to happen. He, he couldn't mill me quick enough. Even with all the mill power he had, you can get so much flying power going in uh, that it's ridiculous. Yeah, the stream crashed for a second. I don't know why it turned off. You guys, you guys see me? Am I back? Um, yeah, sorry about that. It just all of a sudden turned off and immediately turned back on. I don't know why it did that. Um, so let's open this pack. Hey, Bakawana. Oh, yeah, that's what I needed. All right. Um, let's keep it going in Historic Shake-Up. Let's do another one. And then we'll play some Ranked. But even against the Mighty Mill, uh, nothing, uh, nothing can stop me here. Two mana and spell heavy. I don't like that. Oh, well, no, I got a mulligan it. That's much better. Much, much better. Look at that. This to this to this to this to this. Yep. All right, we're going to keep it. I'm going to throw away a light of hope. Hold on one second, guys. All right, sorry about that. Cut out for a second there. Uh, we're going to pay two life and bring out Aurelia. There we go. There we go. Okay. Deafening Clarion. Very good. Very good spell. Um, sorry about that. Guild Summit. That's a good one. But I think we're going to be too fast for him right now. This is one of those gate decks. I don't think he has time to get set up doing whatever he's doing. I remember these days. Yeah, if this this you can shock deck the hell out of yourself with this one. You see that? He's growth spiraling. What is he gonna do? What can he play with two to stop me? He's got a two card board wipe. Come on. Forty-nine to negative two. Um, so pretty much, pretty much as you see it, guys. I mean, you can't mid-range decks like that. You, you can't, you can't challenge me in mid-range, man. Not with this crazy shit. All right, we're gonna go again. We're gonna keep going until we lose in Shake Up, because I really like Shake Up, just because that that crazy broken shit isn't there. And then we'll try ranked. One second.
Let's keep it going, guys. Uh, this absolutely can pull off a six-win run. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. This is like a tank deck. You don't really think about, you know, there's tanking, there's DPS, you know, there's support. Uh, if you think about decks in that kind of RPG way, this is a tank. We have so much life we can get with this deck. I don't care if they're playing a hasted, ember cleaved, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, one of the, oh, this is a terrible hand, uh, hasted, ember cleaved, gigantosaurus. We can take it. Because with 40, 50, 60, 70 life, um, it just gets to a ridiculous degree. I'm gonna throw mana away. That wasn't a great first hand, and it was uh, not a great second hand. Aether Spellbomb, yeah. Um, damn it! Sorry about the microphone. It keeps wanting to fall over for some reason. I gotta get it. Really, what I need to what I need to buy with my microphone, I need to buy one of those uh, arms that hangs off my desk that hangs the microphone in front of me. Um. You know. Okay. Gain the life. Lurker of the lock. And is this another mill? Is this like another Demir mill? Okay. It's an artifact. Well, luckily we have our artifact destruction here. Uh, we're going to take the hit because we already gained three. Um, and we're going to play Angel of Vitality. We have two Aurelias, which is not really necessary, but okay. He might spell bomb us. Uh, I don't think it's really necessary for that, but we're going to save these Invoke the Divines to really pump them. Tezzeret Schemer... What can he do? Hmm. Uh, that's what he can do. Alright, well, in that case, we're going to have to... Um, how many artifacts does he control? Four. Okay, we're going to put down Aurelia then. And then we're going to put down Shalai. Thwopter. Alright. Well, he's dead anyways, because I can hit him for four. Mind Stone. So we're going to go for Tezzeret. It's an infinite mana deck? Okay. That's good to know. see what we got. He's hard casting it. Forsaken Monument. Yeah, we're gonna eat that one alive, homie. We gonna eat that one alive, homie. You ain't casting that. Shit. We gonna eat that one alive, homie. Yeah, freaking for it. That's what I'm talking about. Artifact destruction. You gotta have artifact hate. Um, gotta have artifact hate. Oh yeah, he can bring back any artifacts. 
Yeah. See, this is the one problem we do have with um, we do have with uh, historic is that there are some broken ass combos. I hate artifact decks. That's another thing you'll never see me playing. You'll never really see me playing Simic, but you'll also never see me playing um, artifact decks. This is boring. Uh, yeah, he had exactly... He just shut us down immediately. He got his Tezzerat out really quick. And we also got really slow on the mana. Um, he was able to shut down that Shalai, which was really... Shut up. Which really... Uh, whatchamacallit. I'm just not a fan of Artifact. I just don't like the, the weird way they play. I don't like a lot of things about him. Um, I'm just not an artifact guy. Never have been when artifacts first started being a thing. Um, I just never really liked them. Um, I just was never into them. So I, I don't know. I, I really couldn't say exactly just something about colorless kind of is anathema to what magic is. It's about the interaction of five different colors that are asymmetrical. Um, and not playing that feels like you're just drifting outside of the actual scope of what the game is supposed to be. Um, it just doesn't make any sense to me, like, why you would do that. Um, this is a bad hand, and it was followed by another bad hand. Um, oof, yikes. We just got nothing good. Um, I'm gonna keep it, but if he's aggro, we're out of we're we're shit out of luck. Uh, hopefully, we'll draw into some. We're on the play. All right, so we can get Angel Vitality. Okay, so we got some mana. He didn't play anything black there. Uh, Fen Lurker, yeah, I remember him. Uh, Exile card. Mm. Invoke the Divine. I think this might be Hand Hate. Yar first to lock point. Very good card. Uh, if he's going to try to life drain me, it's not going to work. No attacks. Yeah, if his goal is to life drain gain me, he's going to he's gonna be in bad shape. Going to be in bad shape. It's okay. Either one of them is powerful as hell. Um, yeah, it's a hand hate. Knight of the Heaven Legion, solid card. Solid card. Um, yeah, you don't want to attack, oh boy. Yeah, you don't want to attack. You don't want this. Okay, here we go. Here's in. We're going to swing in for the big one now. Yep, that's what we're talking about there. Uh, even all of his things can't stop me. So, hand, hate, and life drain is not going to work against this deck. Because we're going to do 10 next time. He might have a board wipe. He might have some direct removal. But either way. There's Nightmare Shepherd. That's a blocker. but And we're getting way too much mana. Um, he was better off. He was better off trying to block. Let's see. That's going to be 6-7. So we're going to go in with you and with you. You either take 10 or lose your Nightmare Shepherd. He's going to take 10. 
That's what I'm talking about. He could attack with 20 right now, and it wouldn't matter. He could attack with 30 right now, and it wouldn't matter. Um, there's just too much pain on the board. Tire map, very good. Ayara, I want to work with Ayara again. I might make an all-black elf deck uh, and do the Ayara thing. Don't attack with him, man. You're just going to get killed. Uh, maybe he doesn't care. He might just scoop. Okay, we're going to go in. Sacrifice a creature. Alright, resolve. There we go. Destroy that enchantment. Sorry, bud. That's only five. He can only do five, so we gotta go in with everybody. Alright, so even if he does the damage to make my Righteous Valkyrie lose the plus two to everything... Ooh, that's pretty good. Yeah, okay, so he came up there. Uh, that was right in the nick of time. If we could draw anything but freaking... Uh, uh, if we could draw anything but freaking... Uh, oh, there we go. If we could draw anything but mana, that would be really great. Alright, we're back on top. Liliana, okay. Each player sacrifices two creatures. Very nice. Uh, we're going to lose him and him. As long as we don't draw mana, we're going to be okay. And Mary is called. It was a freaking mana. Um, yeah, if we can hold on to that, we'll be all right. Um, he was right on the precipice, and he got that perfect card. But even even doing that, he um, he uh, still didn't get it off. We're just going to do a conservative attack right now just to get rid of Liliana. And if we draw a mana, we'll be okay. And if we draw a, um, if we draw Angel, we'll be okay. And if we draw a Life Gain, we'll be okay. So no matter what, we'll be okay. Um, I think that that's the main thing to say here. He's going to attack. All right, we're going to block. Okay, so we're all right. Yeah, with Amaria's Call, no matter what, we were going to be okay. So we're going to gain 8 life. Twice. So we're going to gain 16 life right here. Sixteen life, folks. Just like that. Uh, and these guys are 8-8s. Eight so, you know, there's that. Like I said, unless you got a board wipe, it's really just... I mean, resetting at a board wipe at this point with 37 versus uh, 37 versus six is just not. This is not what it what you need to be doing. Is 
the 27 right down to the wire and he's out of there um yep as you can see you can pull off some extremely crazy moves oh yeah i mean stern home unleashed is good i would rather play amaria's call because it has more utility early in the game um I mean, late in the game, Starnhelm is, um, I mean, you can kind of charge it, but I, I just prefer Amaria's because it's a land first. Um, do I have to block? No, I didn't have to block. He was only going to get me down to 27, which was going to leave me at plus two to everything. Um, so I was going to be fine no matter what. Um. Uh, who do we got here? Cthulhu, Tanuki, Bakawana Kunawa, uh, Hugh, Stignox, The Writinger. Um, all right. I would... Hmm, mulligan. That is much better. I'm glad I had Mulligan. <laughs> uh, Clifftop Retreat, you can, you can go away. Yeah, I mean, you have to pay early on, so I, you know, I don't know. I, I, I have nothing against it. I mean, it, it'll work. Um, I just, there's so many other good cards that I just, uh, I don't do it. Uh, but certainly you can put Starnhelm Unleashed into this if you want. Um... You could put boost, you could put mana generation, you could put rally of wings, you could put any kind of thing that you want. Um, I mean, the, 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 the sky's the limit with what you want to do. I mean, nobody's stopping you. All right, no attacks. Yeah, I mean, there's so many good angel cards. That's why going back and grabbing the ones out of... Uh, this is a zombie deck. Um, I don't like. I said I don't really care about losing life. No blocks. Um, so we're gonna put down another bishop of wings, and we're gonna go in for two. Yeah, there's so many good white angel cards that you know you could put in. Um, you could put in Resplendent Marshall. You could put in uh, just any kind of craziness that you wanted. Um, you could do it. Hopefully we get a white card here. We need a mana right here. Give me a Plains or a even a Mountain I'd be happy with. Um, Leviticus. Nope, that's not it. Uh, but we can... Invoke the Divine. Gain five life. See, that's what I'm talking about. When you have so much life gain and the potential to make life, like, you can take... He could attack me for the whole, the whole shebang. Um, undead. You know, Miliana, untouched by death. Mill three cards. It's a good one. It's a good one. Negative two. So we get two white spirit tokens. Um, so wasn't that smart. <laughs> Was not that smart. Uh, he block. All right, perfect. So we're going to gain a ton of life here and then become invincible. We're going to pop Liliana. Pop, pop. Okay. All right, excellent. Lord of the Accursed is a great card, by the way, too. That's no doubt about that. Blood Chief's Thirst. Yep. See, the thing is, they have to spend it on that one to get rid of it. And then we create two more uh, little uh, spirits. Um, 
no blocks. He can send that in. Boom. We're not we're not drawing any of the big ticket angels here. Um, but we are going to be able to put down Speaker of the Heavens. Um, and then we're going to put down Speaker of the Heavens. And then we're going to play uh, Gain 4 Life. And then we're going to ping him for 1. And if he comes in with Diagraph Ghoul again, I'm going to hit it. I'm going to block him. Yes, sir. Lord of the Accursed. Ooh, I just missed it to get... Uh, Lord of the Accursed out. Um, we're going to have to sack because I want to start generating angels here. New, new, okay. Okay. Alright, of course we get the mana now. We're going to generate the life, gain four life. Alright, and now we're going to create Activate ability. Okay, now here's where we start getting the... Here's where things start getting nuts. Here's where things start getting nuts, guys. Um, no attacks. <clears throat> so basically all we need to do... I mean, we can... We just have to keep ourselves about 27. So I can soak up 17 damage uh, and be able to generate two more. Death touch, that's not really that important. Um... He's really misusing his menace ability. Uh, he should be using that instead. Um, because uh, that is what would really hurt me. If I couldn't block. Uh, Harbringer, that would be great if we could get it. Uh, right now, we're going to be generating life like a crazy. So, like I said, all we need to do is keep it above 27. So right now, even if he had went full board on us, um, even if he went full board on us, uh, we have to keep it at 27. So he has to do 33 damage. Um, so, and it's just not... Uh, I, yeah, I don't even have to block. He has to do 33 damage, so that's 16, 17, 18... 18 and 12 is 30, 35, so I only have to block one creature. Uh, and he sacrificed one to draw two cards, so that wasn't that smart. Um, the only reason I want to keep it above 27 is so I can activate Speaker of the Heavens. But he just cannot put out... I mean, you need to put out a lot of horsepower. Ooh, that'll do it. That'll do it. Oof, clutch card right there, man. Absolute clutch. Uh, still, he has to eat through... Um, he has to eat through a metric ton of stuff to get back to me. See, I'm still at 37. Uh, even with that... Even with that, guys, I mean... Um, he's still not in good shape. <laughs> even with an extinction event... Uh, even with an extinction event and full face, he just can't... doesn't have the horsepower. Um... It's, it, I mean, you can see what's happening here. You just don't have the horsepower to take it out. Um, even a second extinction event, this would only get rid of the evens, and those would be the odds. But yeah, you just, the amount, like I said, the amount of life and the amount of power you can pump out of this thing is just, uh, I mean, he's done. It doesn't really matter. He's just playing cards now. Uh, all right, we're just gonna let him go face. We'll give him that. Even so, only down to thirty. All right, we'll do this just to raise the horsepower even more, and he's out of there. Um, as you can see, absolute power, man. Just a crazy amount of horsepower in this deck. Yeah, for sure. Um, I've, I've been playing something similar, or I've had this kicking around in the back of my head, because as soon as those Valkyries came out, I said, man, you could really make some you could really make some money with, uh, with the amount of stuff we have. Let's go one more ranked and see if we can't close it up on a high note, guys. We haven't run into too, too much crazy jank yet. Um, 
aside from that freaking artifact deck. So. The game is still laggy. Listen, guys, I know nobody believes me, but um, I am streaming and recording at 30 frames a second locked. I have a, I have a frames per second recorder up here. I have only 0.5% loss from... Ooh, that's a damn bad hand right there. <laughs> Too slow. Um, that's better. Throw away that, throw away that mountain. Um, okay, so... Um, but the game itself is laggy. I don't know why. I'm not even at full CPU usage. I'm only at like 60% 60, 60 CPU usage. Uh, elf deck, okay. All right. There we go. And turn. So Bishop of Wings to Resplendent Angel. Uh, hopefully he doesn't deal with two aggro. Oh, yeah. Bishop of Wings is the deck. Absolutely. The two clerics at the bottom because they're your early plays and they just benefit. Alright, so he's going for a wide. Oh yeah, he's screwed. Righteous Valkyrie. Righteous Valkyrie and this together, you gain eight life whenever Angel comes in. Pfft. Hopefully he doesn't have removal. He might have direct removal, but no, he's going to play Elvish Warrior. Elvish Warmaster, which is the wrong thing to play. Uh, we're going to do that. We're going to play Righteous Valkyrie. We're going to gain four life. We're going to do no attacks. Hopefully he doesn't have removal. He might have Binding of the Old Gods. We'll see. Nope, he came in tap for Balagad. Paradise Druid, that's not going to cut him, my man. Take me down to the Paradise Druid where the grass is green and the girls are fluid. Ew, gross. Okay, so Resplendent Angel. We're going to gain 8 life. Boom, we do that. Boom, we go in. And because we gained 8 life, we're going to crap out another Angel. And when we crap out another Angel, we're going to gain 8 life. 41 to 16. There you go, guys. Uh, lethal on board right now. Doesn't matter. He can throw whatever he wants at me. That's lethal on board. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go attack, attack. Does anybody have reach? Attack, attack. And that's going to be... You're like, Jay, you don't know how to do math. That's not lethal. That's 15. Oh, yeah, it is. It is 15. But we do this lovely little... Bob's your uncle. Just that easy, guys. Just that easy, guys. That's why I'm here to teach you. I'm here to bring sacred instruction of the way of the light. Uh, sometimes we must work with the light to serve the darkness. Actually, I think it's the other way, but I've switched it because I'm villain. So, um, there you go, guys. Uh, absolute face smashing, face breaking. Um, Light, listen, man. Light of Hope has won me more games. That's probably one of the top five cards that's won me games. Light of Hope, everything you need: enchantment removal, one one counters, uh, and four life. Everything you could possibly need in a white deck. One mana, ready to go, instant. It is your prepackaged emergency survival kit. Because if he would have got that second turn off, there's no telling what he would have been able to do. He would have been able to attack me. He might not have been able to keep me up below 27, which would have reduced. He might have gained life. He could have had a board wipe because he was playing black. Uh, yeah, there's no telling. So that little extra push over the edge, ah, chef's kiss. Um, we're going to leave it there, guys. We absolutely massacred people. Um, look at this win rate overall. I think it's going to be pretty high. Uh, statistics. I think we're going to be floating up there in the historic overall. Um, so where are we? Uh, faithful. What, are, what is the hell is the name of this deck? Um, I don't know. It might not be tracking. Who knows? 
Uh, holy strength. I don't even think it's tracking. I don't even think it's tracking. Yeah, I don't think it's tracking. I don't think it started tracking when I made it. There was a problem with the, uh, uh, there was a problem with the thing here. But, uh, the, the, the win rate is very good. Uh, as you can see, um, it was very, very good. So, uh, that was both in shakeup and in queue. That was historic diamond queue. So even the crazy Jenkins historic diamond queue was not enough to really stop me. Um, uh, so, you know, uh, except for that one artifact, we really, I mean, this, this deck definitely has three win run, six win run vibes going for it. I love it. I love to play it. I might play it some more on stream just cause I enjoy it so much. Um, so if we like historic decks, I'll keep doing them while the shakeup is there. I might do historic week. I might just do one historic a, mo a month uh, or a week as historic shakeup is going on for the few weeks. We'll check back in later. That was it for me. I've been Jay Villain. You've been great. Of course, let's see. What is the word of the day is going to be guardian because of the angels. Uh, I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.